So, who is the fairest football nation? Where are scenes like these? Rarely seen. And cards are rarely given. Where is football more like this? There is a fairness list, so to speak. The Football Observatory in Switzerland compared 87 countries. How many cards are given where? On the unfair end, plenty of nations from, ta-da, South America. We don't want to go into this, but all these countries at the bottom of the red card pile are from Latin America. Why? The Football Observatory links it to poverty, the homicide rate and corruption. Well, you make up your own mind. Only so much be said. Researching for this, we found that the antics on a Bolivian pitch are not as bad as in their parliament. In this video here, we want to see where referees show the fewest red cards. Where do we find the cleanest football and why is that the case? So let's go to the other end, the fair end of the table. Now, while we scroll down the card chart, let me say, of course, we know the amount of cards is no perfect measure for fairness. For example, if we reach the top 10 and stop at rank 6 of countries with the least red and yellow cards given, England shows up. A country where football bullies are admired and fans love situations like this. And giving someone a nice elbow nudge is tradition, so that referees simply don't give cards for it. Get up and play! So, a lack of cards doesn't necessarily indicate fairness. But there are countries in the top 10 where fair play is part of the football culture. In the top 10, of course, you've got countries you would expect there. Norway, Finland, Sweden, the Scandinavian countries that annoyingly show up top in every positive statistic. Happiness, wealth, human development, fight against corruption, etc. One can't help thinking that these statistics are connected to our red cards, right? Then, in second place, Malaysia. Maybe someone out there can tell me why, because I'm not familiar with Malaysia. But I am familiar with the top spot. Japan, the fairest of them all. And I'm not surprised at all. My name is Caro, and as Kickoff's local reporter on Japanese soccer, I have noticed that the spirit of football in Japan is different from that in Europe or South America. I have been observing the football culture here over a few years now, but not quite long enough to have witnessed the days of the old Japanese traditional football, Kemari. It's non-competitive, with all players cooperating in trying to keep the ball in the air. Today, the J-League has the fewest cards worldwide. 2.56 cards are given per game, and the chance that a red one is among those is a measly 8%. At the University of Tsukuba, Masaaki Koido forges talents who regularly make it onto the world's big stages. Dangerous na play shite, red card mo ratta toki nanka wa aite player ni moshake nai te iu kimochi ga ichiban da to omoimasu. Sore igai no red card te amari nihon dewa nai to omon desu yo ne. Dirty na kotoba o yu to ka wa amari nai to omon shi. Same with the blue samurai the national team. You've seen them at the last World Cup. Even in defeat, they play fair and show grace. Again, no red cards. In the 25 World Cup matches Japan has played so far, they've never received a single red card. And as if that wasn't nice enough, to top it off, the fans clean the stadium after the game. And the team cleans up the locker room. The world couldn't believe the niceness. In Russia 2018, Japan became the first ever nation to progress to the knockout stages on fair play rules. Being level with Senegal on points and goals, it was the yellow cards, or better, the lack of it, that brought Japan to the next round. 
Not only the men. After the Nadeshko won the World Cup 2011, of course, they gave them the Fair Play Cup as well. That can be seen in everyday life. Japan is an industrial nation with hardly any crime. A country that can look like chaos from the outside, but no, it isn't really. Shudan Kodo, the art of precision walking, describes Japan in a nutshell. Look at it. Not one little touch. A mega city like Tokyo would not function without mutual consideration. There is a place for smoking your fag and you queue up for it beforehand and someone will be there to help you do it right. Japanese society has a reputation for putting group harmony above all else. Same in football and all sports. Says Akemi Umegaki, professor for physical education at Doshisha University in Kyoto. There is a purpose, of course, that rules of playing together play such a big role early on. Sport is meant to prepare for life. あの、あの、So, football is a school of life where teachers and referees are respected as a corrective. But why only punish? Fair play goes beyond the number of yellow and red cards, and that's why there's also a green card in Japan. ソネサッカーとかの審判するときにフェアプレーカードとかを思いやりだったり、ボールが欲しいとかに行っちゃって敵チームが取ってきてあげたりしたらその時にグリーンカードにしてあげるんです。子供たちがそうやって人を助けた
because here people also believe that every word can be hurtful. Every word. And if you're hurtful, you're not a team player. And if you're not a team player, it harms your family, your village, your nation, and in the end, yourself. Already, this constitution from the 7th century demands that one should behave harmoniously and refrain from disputes. And Japanese footballers still somewhat adhere to the code of the samurai, Bushido, the way of the warrior. すごくイメージ的にあるんですけれども、武士っていうのは非常にあの、なんていうかな、すごく痩せ我慢をして自分が食べるよりはまあ、あの倫理的に自分が、あの、正しい道を進むっていうか、自分の私利私欲を私服よ